We gotta start with beliefs, right? Right now my son has no beliefs, right? He's 17 months old. He's got emotions, that's all he's got. He's happy, he's sad, he's poopy, he's tired. Right? He, he loves Mexican restaurants. <laughs> the Hispanic culture has bright, vibrant colors, right? You ever notice that? Lots of neons and oranges, you know? The, the music is so upbeat and happy. The saddest Mexican song in the world has 10 trumpets and 14 maracas. <laughs> <laughs> and I carry my son in, and as soon as we crack open that door, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> so excited. He has no opinion on immigration. <laughs> he doesn't have an opinion on immigration. He's 17 months old. I haven't taught him yet that we divided the land up into little bitty sections, and we judge each other depending on which section you happen to be born in. How am I going to teach something so idiotic to a child? How am I going to teach a child that's the way some adults behave, right? I'm going to teach my son that no human being chooses where they're born. We do not get to make that choice. I was born in Kentucky. I wouldn't have fucking chosen. Right? Nothing against Kentucky but Copenhagen over Panuka every day of the week. We do not get to choose where we are born. So judging another person based on that fact alone is an incorrect way of thinking. That's what I'm going to teach my son. My father-in-law, <laughs> on the other hand, will teach my son that the damn dirty Mexicans are the reason he's missing a fucking finger. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? That's what he believes, right? Oh, I love him, but no, I don't. <laughs> Can't lie. I'm trying hard, you know what I mean? He's missing his ring finger, my father-in-law, right? And he thinks it's the Mexican's fault, I swear to you. He walks around my house going, hey, hippie boy. That's what he calls me. He's like, hey, hippie boy, you want to learn some shit? Put that book down. Come listen to me. You see this? Mexicans, that's all this shit is, man. The damn Mexicans took my finger. <laughs> and I argue with him. I'm like, look, buddy, it's not the Mexicans' fault that you drank 17 Coronas. <laughs> How is it possibly their fault? Well, and it's certainly not the Chinese' fault that an M80 went off in your damn hand. <laughs> you lit the fuse and then threw the lighter. <laughs> What happened to him? He got drunk as shit and he lit at him 80 and threw the lighter. And blew his finger up and he thinks it's the Mexican's fault. And no words out of this hippie mouth are going to make him change his mind. It doesn't matter what I say to him, you know? Boy, once a human being really gets a hold of a belief, it will take forever and a free t shirt to get us to change our damn mind. <laughs> we do not like to let go of beliefs, you know? I was in Montana. I'm a fan of Montana. I like that state, right? I'm in a weird little bar. I do my show. Guy comes up to me after the show, easily 50, maybe 55, right? Comes up. He goes, hey, buddy, you were pretty funny. Can I buy you a drink? I look at the dude. He's wearing a huge cowboy hat, and he has a glass eye. So I'm in. <laughs> I'm going to drink with a cowboy with a glass eye. And we're sitting at this bar, and this dude is shooting whiskey. I mean, he's knocking them back, right? And I'm looking at him thinking, damn, that's a lot. You know, after about an hour, he starts to tell me some pretty personal shit. <laughs> He's telling me some things I don't think he would have told me 11 whiskeys ago. <laughs> so in my head, I'm thinking, mm, I might find out about this eye. <laughs> this dude takes one more shot of whiskey. He looks at me and goes, my youngest son's probably the dumbest son of a bitch I've ever met in my life. <laughs> I said, is that right? How'd you lose that eye? <laughs> he goes, oh shit, that's a good story. He goes, I was driving along in my pickup truck, hit a patch of ice. Damn truck flipped three times. My lucky horseshoe came off my rear view, poked my damn eye. I said, holy shit. <laughs> I said, oh my god, man, I'm sorry that happened to you, but that's funny as hell. <laughs> you lucky horseshoe poked your damn eye out? That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I said to him, I go, I guess it's no longer your lucky horseshoe, right? He goes, what? <laughs> of course it's still my lucky horseshoe. Who knows what would have happened if it wouldn't have been there? <laughs> If you want to believe in trinkets, fine. 
but when one attacks you, let go. <laughs> it's amazing how tight we hold on to our little beliefs, you know? I met a woman in Ocala, Florida, talking to her after a show. She believes that Mary Magdalene appeared to her in a pork chop. <laughs> Mary was Jewish. <laughs> I think what you got there is a non-kosher apparition. <laughs> Evidence does not change a closed mind. It just pisses it off. That's a good little sentence, isn't it? That sentence probably pissed some people off. <laughs> Evidence does not change a closed mind. It just pisses it off. I was on a plane. This is my least favorite plane flight. But my, and I hate planes, right? I don't like them, you know? And I'm flying from Atlanta to Boston to do comedy. And I squeeze into my little seat. Dude sitting next to me flops open the paper, okay? Headline of the paper said, Texas flooding, global warming, question mark. Right? This dude goes, hey, look at this bullshit. Global warming, it's a big fucking lie. Just made up, made up by liberals, just to piss me off. <laughs> Every single tax dollar spent on science is a waste of money. It is a waste of money. You don't spend tax money on science. Science ain't never done one thing for one human ever. I'm thinking, we're on a plane! <laughs> is it me, Cincy, be honest? Are my expectations of humanity too fucking high? <laughs> Am I expecting too much? Of you can't hate science. You can't hate science and love NASCAR. <laughs> NASCAR without science is called running. <laughs> Three hours. And you know, if he would have said to me, you know what, man, I've read a lot about global warming. <laughs> I don't think our activities affect it. That's a conversation. Science ain't never done one thing. What the fuck? You're wearing bifocals. <laughs> irritating. Three hours sitting next to this guy, a grown man, a fucking voter. He's bitching to me about how stupid science. At some point, I just started giggling. I just, it, was, it was so childish. I pictured him standing in front of the periodic table. <laughs> this is all bullshit. <laughs> All made up by liberals just to piss me off. <laughs> Chlorine, uranium, carbon. These are Dr. Seuss words, shit out of here. <laughs> Potassium's a load of bull fucking shit. <laughs> That's probably my favorite joke in this whole hour. <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you why I like it. I'll tell you why I like that joke so much. Because fluorine, uranium, carbon, and potassium spell fuck on the periodic table. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote a dirty word on the periodic table. 